This week, India is bracing for the impact of a deadly cyclone. Cyclone Monta is gathering strength in the Bay of Bengal and now poses a serious threat to India's east coast. The system has rapidly intensified from a deep depression to a likely severe cyclonic storm. Landfall is expected near the Andhra Pradesh coast between Machli Patnam and Kakinada on 28th October. Wind speeds are projected to hit 90 to 110 kilometers per hour. But why the name Monta? The cyclones in the North Indian Ocean region are named by the Regional Specialized Meteorological Center headquartered in New Delhi, which is operated by the India Meteorological Department as per the guidelines of the World Meteorological Organization. There are 13 member countries in this region and each country submits a list of 13 names. Together, they form a pool of 169 names. When a new cyclone forms, IMD picks the next name on the list in a pre-assigned sequence. The name Monta was suggested by Thailand, which means a fragrant or beautiful flower in the Thai language. Unlike its pleasant name, the cyclone is likely to bring widespread devastation. The east coast, from Andhra Pradesh to Odisha, even Tamil Nadu and West Bengal, are likely to face heavy rains, storm surge, coastal flooding and disruption of logistics, port operations and supply chains. So how is India preparing? The IMD has issued color-coded alerts across coastal districts. Disaster response forces, including NDRF, are on high alert. The National Crisis Management Committee, chaired by the Cabinet Secretary, has been reviewing preparedness. The local and district administration, in coordination with state governments, TENTA and NDMA, have initiated evacuation of the vulnerable population to cyclone shelters. The Coast Guard and the Navy have been urging fishermen and boats to return to harbour and the NDMA is pre-positioning the relief measures to minimise the response time. For UPSC aspirants, this is a live case study to understand India's disaster management architecture. So do let me know the key takeaways in the comments below.